What is one of the dumbest things you've done when your brain was on autopilot? I work at a busy restaurant so I end up saying corner hundreds of times a night as I go back and forth around corners and doorways in the kitchen. Was running food to a table. Set it down gently. And in my sweetest customer service voice I said corner while looking the customer right in the eye instead of here is your soup or something like I usually do. They looked confused. My brain tried to reset. And so naturally I said thank you as if that made it better. I ended up just backing away. It was a lost cause. Oh man. Restaurant callouts just stick with you. I did something similar when at the grocery store. I was walking around an older lady to get to the cheese and just belted out behind. Scared the crap out of the poor thing. This is a while ago. But I was working at McDonald's and worked in the morning, not a morning person. Still not. My brain wakes up around 10 am and I think it was like 8 am. And I handed this lady her large coffee and the sun shined bright in my eyes and all I said was praise the sun and she looked at me all weird and drove off. I find this one the most hilarious of all. I told my friend, you're welcome, after he sneezed and excused himself the other day. I do that, thank you, is even weirder. And then whenever people wish me happy birthday. I always say it back to them and then stutter for 10 years before I finally figure out how to say thanks. Single quote. Let a coffee machine run without a jug under it. Went to take a shower and had to clean up the mess afterwards. Lifted my welding mask up and forgot it was on my head. Then went to get a new mask. This reminds me of the multiple times a week I hunt around for my glasses as they sit on the top of my head. I've also spent ages looking for my phone before my kids point out it's in my hand. I need more sleep. Clearly. Flipped my Kindle over to read the other side of a document. The reverse millennial. Tore open a sugar packet. Poured it directly into the trash. Tossed the empty paper packet into my coffee. I shook my phone to see how full the battery was. Not gonna lie I went, that's a good idea, and almost tried it. I was a kitchen employee at Arby's when I was 18. We used to have sub rolls that were foot long. But the only subs we sold were 6 inch. So you had to cut each roll in half before you used it. I was just zoned out one day. And I ended up cutting the sub roll in half. Putting the knife back in the sub roll bag and then trying to use the sub roll to cut the next sandwich. My manager saw it and F. King died. Imagine being a customer and seeing your employee trying to cut bread with bread. I used the breads to destroy the breads. I was trying to make some scrambled eggs. Basic prep, crack the eggs. Put the eggs in a bowl. Toss the shell. My dumbass, crack the egg. Put egg in the trash. I literally stood above the trash can with the shell in my hands processing what had just happened for about 30 seconds. I just had the faint feeling of IF ket up and was wondering exactly how for way too long. Not me but one time my GF got handed her drink at Starbucks. Said thanks. Went over to the bar to get cream or something and immediately dropped her fresh drink straight into the trash can at the bar. Her mother and I just looked at her and started laughing. The barista saw what happened and with a, it happens, attitude agreed to replace the drink. It also helped that no one was in there except us haha. We still bring it up every now and then and all laugh. My GF included. What a nice barista. I feel like this is basically sop at Starbucks. Keeping the customers happy is built into the prices. I put my dirty plate in the freezer instead of the dishwasher. Dishes on hard mode. It will get clean eventually thrown a bowl of cereal on my bed. God blessed me. Because even though it was cinnamon toast crunch. I like to eat it dry. Dry cinnamon toast crunch is delicious. I slathered my face with hair gel this morning. I was working fast food and taking orders both inside and for the drive through I took someone's order inside at the counter and told them to pull forward to the second window. While on autopilot goes outside and stands at the window. I was working both a full-time job and part-time job for a while in my young 20s. I answered, hello, video store name, while working my shift at Bulk Barn. I've answered my cell phone on my day off, thank you for calling, work name, this is, name. How can I help you, more times than I'd like to admit. Same here, except. It was work calling me. Hello, store name, meat department. My name, speaking, single quote. 
Put a dog biscuit into the washing machine instead of a detergent pod. I realized before turning it on. So I was able to recover it. And fed the Tide Pod to your dog? Don't be silly. Dogs aren't dumb enough to eat Tide Pods. People, on the other hand, drove 17 miles past my interstate exit before I snapped back to reality. I drove about the same distance during which my memory is non-existent. But during that time, I successfully and correctly turned off at the correct exit, stopped at a toll boat, and took the toll stub from the machine. It proved to me that driving on autopilot existed well before the technology was even invented. Waited at a stop sign for five minutes thinking it was a red light. I was not on my phone. I didn't hold anybody else up luckily. Reminds me of the old saying, drunk drivers are more likely to run a stop sign. Stoned drivers are just gonna wait for the sign to turn green. I went inside the gas station. Paid. Then drove off. Twice. Didn't even fill up. Just drove away. I've done the same thing going through the drive through a time or two. Pay for my food. Get my receipt. Drive off. Turn around and go back for my food. My brother ordered nachos at a Mexican restaurant. Grabbed a chip and proceed to watch himself dip it into his tea. After about two dips, he came back into reality. Shook his head and went, what? My mother is an EMT. After a 24-hour shift she came home and tried to unlock the front door with her car keys button and did that for about five minutes. I once drove to work when I was supposed to drop my younger brother off at school. Neither of us seemed to notice until we got to my workplace and I had turn around. He was late. Little bro noticed for sure. He just wanted to skip class. As someone with no natural sense of direction, it is entirely possible he doesn't keep track if he isn't driving. I've gotten in my car on the weekends to go somewhere and gone on autopilot and realize it as I'm pulling into my work's parking lot. I'm like, why the F did I drive to work? I've had similar experiences. I had three jobs for a while. And occasionally I'd get dressed for the right job. Then drive straight to the wrong one and not realize it until I'm at the door. Or answering the phone at Jabba with Job B's greeting. Imagine calling a pizza hut and getting the suicidal hotline greeting. Or the other way around. TV remote in the fridge. I once found my mail in the freezer. Were you trying to freeze your credit? I pet my laptop thinking it was my dog. I pet my friend's brother-in-law while we are watching a movie and he was sitting on the floor. We had just met about three hours prior. Went to the gym. Walked right past the desk where you check in and get a locker key. Walked into the locker room. Stood in front of a locker and was absolutely puzzled about what to do next. I can hear a buzz sound. Like you get in a video game. Then a screen pops up missing locker key. Was holding my phone and ice cream in a cone. Phone rang. Answered ice cream. A sticky ear is surprisingly uncomfortable. Passes ice cream over to person, it's for you. I used the key fob from my car to lock my refrigerator. Yeah, I don't know either. I feel this. I've pointed my key fob at my front door more times than I'd like to admit. The worst part is the momentary confusion immediately after it doesn't work. I poured soda into a bowl. Coco Bola. Swiped up on a paper magazine like it was a screen. This is what boomers imagine children do with books these days. Was brushing my teeth and went to throw something away but ended up spitting all over the floor instead. Once put toothpaste on my razor and very nearly put it in my mouth before the gears in my brain screeched to a halt and the warning sirens went off. I now keep my razor in the shower. Far away from my toothbrush. You missed out on a minty fresh shave though. Had a drink in my hand and dumped it out because I checked the time on my watch. My boss did this, but he was drinking coffee and sitting in a chair. He went home to change his pants after that. God I love smart watches and the havoc they create. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving home, but instead of going to my current house, I drove to my old house. I haven't lived there in over five years. I pulled into the driveway and luckily I realized what I had done before I actually got out of the car. I can just imagine you entering the house while some family going about their day, looks up at you in absolute confusion. I had a dislocated knee and kicked a soccer ball that was coming towards me. I was folding my freshly laundered bed linens while simultaneously putzing around the house. 
I don't know what to tell you but somehow. I was folding a pillowcase. Then the next moment. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I looked everywhere my very tiny home. It wasn't in the folded pile. It wasn't in the closet. It wasn't in the bedroom. Bathroom. And kitchen where I puttered around while folding said laundry. It still haunts me and I'm going to find that effing pillowcase even if it kills me. Edit, I didn't expect this to blow up OMG. I am now even more determined to look for that pillowcase, lost it last Wednesday. I am at my mother's house for the weekend but will update this when I get back home. It's definitely not in my hand. My other hand. Trash or fridge. My main suspects are the closet or within the fitted sheets meaning I have to refold them sad face, what's funnier is there are two pillowcases of the same design and it's making me even crazier thinking I imagined the other one. I was also searching for it holding the other one like it was a missing cat poster lol. Did you check the trash? If it ended up in the trash. You'll never find it. Walked naked in my son's bedroom. I was stepping out of the shower. And his bedroom used to be mine in my childhood. That sounds like APR no not that I'd no shutters. Put the cereal box in the fridge. I may have also thrown a spoon in the garbage once instead of washing it. Wake up in the middle of the night to take a pee then just autopilot it into my morning routine. It wasn't until after I drank my coffee that I realized it was only 3 AM and that I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep. The amount of times I've gone to the shop to buy something and left without picking up said item is too damn high. I have a dog with fluffy white hair. Think poodle-ish. I was on the couch petting and talking to my dog for a good while when I see my wife come down the stairs. Trailing behind her was my dog. I had been petting a Costco fuzzy white blanket the whole time. I wish I could say it only happened once. Overshot an exit that I've used hundreds of times. Didn't notice and ended up driving another 50 miles before realizing that I was underscore way underscore out of the city's boundaries. Still don't remember any of the in-between. Just starting to drive and then realizing I had no idea where I was. I picked shaving foam can instead of antiperspirant and spray it on my underarm. Took it as a sign from the almighty and ended up shaving my underarm. That's how you listen to the universe. Bless. When I was a brand new mom on maternity leave, but still trying to juggle law school and a newborn, my sister-in-law had an emergency and had to leave her Boston Terrier with me. Even though he was a very well-behaved dog and had met the baby. We still kept them separated just in case. One morning, after my husband left for work, I picked up the baby up out of the bassinet and went downstairs to make coffee. My husband had forgotten something and promptly came right back in to find me at the counter. Brewing coffee. Rocking a black and white dog in one arm. While our son still quietly chilling in his bassinet upstairs. He took the day off from work and I went back to sleep.